Hello, everybody. Is that Hello. Hello. Hello, Tess. Uh, so, uh, my name's Tommy. I'm Sean. And this is our presentation for Jot, which is a... You know, it's a journaling application. It's where uh, writing meets emotion. So, um, and that uh, right there is uh, TS for Tommy and Sean. Yeah. It's also TypeScript, which is what we wrote it in. <laughs> and that is yeah. just their logo. So there we go. All right. So um, I guess a little bit about myself. I am from Connecticut and New York. Moved down here about three years ago. Um, things that I like to write, since it's a writing app, I like to uh, write HR policy for my day job. Um, I also do comedy, improv comedy, and I also write some satire stuff as well. I also write thoughtful diary entries and code as well. <laughs> I'm Sean. I'm born, I'm born and raised in Miami-Dade. Uh, I love programming innovative and exciting applications, uh, providing easy-to-use interfaces. You know, I just I go the extra mile whenever I'm developing something just to, to accommodate the user because I know sometimes when things don't make sense, you close the web page. Um, so, uh, so um, when we were thinking of this, uh, of creating our app, uh, we thought about creating a journal. Um, and journals are great for multiple reasons. Uh, you're able to express yourself, generate ideas, be creative. Um, and even it's good to relax, too. Studies have shown that. I don't know which ones, but they have. Um, but they do have a few drawbacks in their current form. Um, one, there's no security. Uh, I know you guys probably have had it where like, your mom or your sister will steal and read your journal. More sisters, probably. Um, they're easy to lose. You can, someone can take your diary and read your private thoughts. That's not good. We made it password protected, so that doesn't happen. Yeah. Um, they're hard to share unless you want to like read an entry. If there's something that you really want to get out there, it's hard to get it out to the world. Um, and then also, you can't be anonymous. So if there's some thoughts that you want to get out there, you can't just share them. People are going to know it's coming from you because you're reading from a diary right in front of them. Um, and then we also didn't find that the other platforms are great. I know a lot of people use Facebook as a diary, but I think this one would be a better, more appropriate platform uh, for that as well. So that's why we made Jot. Jot features. Uh, Jot, Jot uh, introduces a clean, intuitive design. Uh, entries are all in one, where meaning you could do everything within your uh, entry um, post. Uh, meaning you could style it, you could edit it, you could add any your, em you could specify your emotion, your feeling when you're actually writing it. And it's really clean, cut, simple dra drag and drop feature that allows you to drag and drop the image that best represents that moment you were writing about. And uh, we also have followers where you can uh, add friends and then see what they're looking for, and they have to accept that too. Um, the entries, uh, we tried to make everything all in one, and then we added emojis to that too, so you can express your emotions for in a uh, easier to see thing than the words if people don't want to see that. Um, uh, the messaging service? Um, messaging uh, notifications in general is re are very important when you're actually using um, a website because something may happen and you don't know what happened, so you need to be notified this um, what just happened, basically. Um, just It's an easy messaging that appears at the top of the page when you do too many actions of the same kind or if you're doing some sort of thing not programmed in the system. Um, and we also created an uploader function, or Sean uh, made that. Um, that th yeah, it's a custom uh, up, drag and drop uploader that allows you to drag and drop. This is completely done from scratch. I did use Angular's uh, HTTP request that allows you to you know push files to the front end, and um, I had to create a custom component with custom directives that uh, basically allow you to det um, read the event of the drag and drop. Uh, well, basically read the drag and drop events, and then uh, binded that to the custom component I, uh, well, we, we created. Uh, so it was really complicated. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, so next. Um, 
All right. So yeah, so we have a few challenges. Um, uh, just some sending data between things, uh, developing the workflow, time management, project delegation. Uh, we could go in a little bit more, but uh, we should show you the app too. Yes. All right. Technologies Mongo Express Angular uh, Node mean stack. I wish we could explain, but okay. <laughs> uh, work and commits. We did a lot of work on this. And a lot of conflicts and a lot of merges and yeah. yeah. All right. Here's the demo. So this is our home page. Um, a little description of what you could do. Write, share, explore. We will um, sign up or log in. What do you think? Log in. Yeah. You want to use your Um, so when you come on to this, this is the profile page. This is where you will see all of your personal um, entries that you make. Um, they all scroll down there, so it's all in one spot. If you add a new one, it'll be on the top um, immediately. So this is my first entry. Um, you also have emojis on there that you can change. Um, and then let's edit it. So it should. This is where you're going to edit all of the entries. It's all in one um, sort of thing, so you don't have to go to different things. You can add and delete emojis um, right there. Uh, you can also um, go in and just type that. There's a custom editor that we imported as well, so you can underline and bold things. Um, you can change the background picture just by adding a picture, we won't do that, but you can, you basically just drop it there and it'll change that uh, right there. This is an entry about some of the challenges. So there's a computer that is on fire there. Um, and then at the very bottom of the entry, um, you can make it public or private. Uh, and you can also like it here. Um, and you can also extend how big it is. So make the uh, entry a little smaller and a little larger. And then you save, and all of your uh, content will be right there in the entry. Um, so in addition to that, there is a timeline feature where you're able to, oh yes. So also here we have followers. Yes, uh, we got followers. Basically, you could uh, request follow someone, and then when that person logs in, they'll see your request and confirm your follow. Right now, since we're just doing on one side, we need the other person to uh, confirm that. Oh, my comments, yeah. Oh, sorry. Um, and so I'm friends with Sean, and also Wolf McDog is another one of our users there. Um, and you can search there, too, uh, two, uh, four different followers. Um, then once you follow people, uh, you can then go to the timeline and see that everything that you wrote, as well as anything that they wrote too. And one, and one thing to uh, mention is none of these articles actually have the user's name, uh, just because it's, you know, sometimes you don't want people to know you wrote it, um, essentially. So it's like, it's very anonymous too. When someone posts something, you could share your thoughts and you could ex uh, you express yourself in a, in, in a way where people could, um, you know, be comforted by your writing rather and there's no ego uh, behind this as well so there's no credibility so you're just writing just because the love of writing and you want to express yourself not because you want to get credit or be known for something yeah um, yes yeah, so then and then the final page is an explorer page where you can um, go see peop uh, different uh, entries that are public. So if they're private, they will be shown only to you, but if they're public, they're shown to other people as well. Um, such as there, I gave that example as a public one. Um, 
Oh, another thing, um, we also created use cases that allow you, like if you spot your, your, your entry within any other of uh, the tabs, uh, Timeline or Explorer, you can actually edit it directly from there without having to go back to your profile. So it's very intuitive design. So if you like reading through and you spot your own, article, your own entry, then you could be like, oh, there's a typo. Let me just fix this right here and then. Uh, and we have that capability. Um, so, and then I think, I think that's it. We have some entries on there. If you take a look on uh, some of the um, challenges that we had, um, some of the successes, as well as some of the things that we would like to improve on there too. So, um, uh, that's our presentation. Yeah. For John.